Hey y'all, Justin here, and welcome to your weekly refresher. Well, if you remember this past Sunday, I spoke on delight and avuda. Uh, for many of you, you probably never heard that word because it's a Hebrew word that is actually translated work, worship, and service. Yes, believe it or not, that one Hebrew word is translated either work, worship, or service. And the very first time it shows up is actually in Genesis, right when God put Adam in the Garden of Eden, which if you recall, Eden actually means delight or pleasure. And so we were tying this issue of delighting yourself in the Lord, and He'll give you the desires of your heart, Psalm 37, 4, along with this Avuda and recognizing that every single thing that we do is unto the Lord. <clears throat> the Hebrew mindset uh, recognizes that their entire life is a life of Avuda, of worship. Whether they're working, whether they're praising, or whether they're serving, all of it is holiness unto the Lord. Scripture says, do everything as unto the Lord. Well, it's interesting that the very first thing that takes place uh, in the garden before the fall is God actually puts Adam right smack dab in the midst of his delight. And we found out also in Ezekiel where uh, the king of Tyre is being judged uh, and prophesied against that it's actually a parallel and the Lord is actually talking about Lucifer himself in that particular chapter. And uh, we, see this, we see this parallel there and we recognize that he was in the midst of the garden. He was in the garden, he was in the midst of the fiery stones and so Lucifer was in the Garden of Eden. So this garden that was replicated on the earth, it's kind of just like when the Lord told Moses to do make the patterns exactly, to make it exactly the way that he was shown in heaven when he was up on the mountain. And so we have, have this call to take this earth and make it look just like heaven on earth as it is in heaven. We talked about how whatever we see in front of us that's not in heaven, then that's automatically an assignment. We know that we are to see the works of the enemy destroyed. First John says, for this reason, the Son of Man manifested that he might destroy the works of the evil one. And But it's interesting to me, backing uh, up to the issue of the garden, how it says he put Adam in there to work it. So work itself actually wasn't a part of the curse, believe it or not. Some people don't want to work. There's a percentage of people in our country, they absolutely want to be taken care of and they don't want to work, unfortunately. But in the beginning, even before sin entered in, work was in the garden. He says he put Adam in the midst of the garden to work it, right? To avuda. And so we see that... Um, work was supposed to be a pleasurable thing and it was supposed to be unto the Lord in the very beginning. So what are you doing? Like right now, this week, what is your job? What are you doing in the marketplace? Because you're a part of that 95% of the body of Christ that's not in full-time church ministry, but you are absolutely in full-time ministry. So are you avu dying? Abu dying unto the Lord? Are you doing everything unto the Lord? Do you realize that this is a part of your worship? And are you allowing the kingdom to invade your workplace? Are you serving as with, with all of your heart as unto the Lord? Are you doing it with excellence? Are you doing it with humility? Are you doing it with love? Are you doing it with the desire to see people come to know the Lord simply by watching the way you work and how you treat others. You, every day, go right into the marketplace. 
right in to the culture of this region. And it's your job to be the light and the salt and to see the region changed, to see heaven come to the earth and to see the knowledge of the glory of the Lord cover this region. That is such an amazing assignment. And so, like I said Sunday, you're gonna to begin to see uh, conferences and workshops done by us that is targeted, I mean targeted towards bringing the kingdom into the marketplace. You know, the fivefold ministry in Ephesians, apostle, prophet, evangelist, shepherd, and teacher, they're there for the, to equip the saints for the work of the ministry. So in other words, the 5% of the body of Christ is there to serve the 95% that's in the marketplace. So when you wake up, understand purpose is all over you. Destiny is all over you. You get up, you go to work, you're in the marketplace. You have this amazing opportunity to avuda with your work understand that it's an act of worship that it's unto the lord and that you have the opportunity to advance the kingdom into your marketplace and to literally see everything around you come under the reign of king jesus remember the kingdom of heaven is not a democracy we don't vote on whether or not we're going to be obedient to the lord right if we call him savior he's also lord and he's not either or but both so I hope y'all are uh, having an awesome week. Uh, don't forget tonight is dinner and a movie from 6 to 8 p.m. We're doing the Dreams and Mysteries episode, which is amazing. Awesome, awesome episodes. And the couple of episodes we're going to show tonight will be awesome. Uh, full of wisdom and revelation. So hope to see some of your bright, shining faces tonight. Otherwise, we will see y'all this weekend. Bless y'all.